Hi friends, my name is Jeremy and on this channel I talk about color and light. And today I want to answer a question that several people have been asking me about wanting to advance to the next level. If color studies are basic for you, if they're, they're too easy to do, where do you go next? What is the next step in the process? You know, it, the whole goal is not to do color studies. That's not our final art. That's not really where we want to go. What we want to do is our own original artwork out of our imaginations that has color and amazement and you know how to craft that light into something new and original. The next step that we'll be talking about today I think it's speeding it up. So instead of doing an hour or two hours for something, shrink it down. We're going to do 15 minutes. It'll make you focus in on the most important thing, which is the mood and the tone in the story. Is the composition good? Is, are you matching the colors right? And not getting lost in those textural details. I have done color studies with friends, and some of them, after having done this for several months, realize that these 10 minute to 15 minute studies are actually more useful to them. They could get more done in 15 minutes than they could in an hour because they don't get lost in details. So let's paint. I've got 15 minutes on the clock and we'll see how fast I can make the skull. I'm going to focus in on the skull itself and not worry too much about the details in the background just to see if I can get this in 15 minutes. See how fast I can go. Let me set myself up here. I've got my brush. All right, and I'm going to start the timer. Three, two, one, now. Here we go, timer is going. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look for a nice neutral color to fill this whole thing with. And the head might kind of fill in here. I'm going to start with making just a little line of, let's try to get the shape of this going. Uh, I just get some of my tones here, not tones, but like just, just to kind of find this. This is a complex shape to paint really quickly. All right, I'll make my brush bigger and start painting with some of these colors. So the first thing I see is this kind of yellowish tone. Let's see if I can find something like that. And it's definitely more yellow here. Uh, and I'm going to, I can see this kind of grayer tone through here, uh, maybe less saturated down through the face here. And then there's, there's a rim light on the side and instead of going to cool, I'm just going to desaturate. I'm going to do my color relativity thing here. Try to find these shapes. The next I'm going to get these eyes. I notice there's a color temperature thing happening. It's kind of yellow here, and then under the eyes it goes more orange. So I'm going to make some amount of a darker reddish color in here just because I see some of those tones. And then I got the big black eye sockets. So the dark, dark eye sockets. Let's see if I can get these in and not make this look too dorky. Um, I've got a nose socket in here and then where the teeth come through here and wow my proportions are terrible uh, i'm going to hold alt I'm on my mac right now i have a mac and a pc so i kind of i prefer painting on my my mac I blur my eyes and say the most important thing here as a color study is to get these tones right so i want to make sure that i'm getting those right colors in the right places as quickly as possible Three minutes in, how am I doing? All right, oh, I've got a little eye ridge here. I'm trying to focus in on the whole thing, kind of collectively. It's how I've, someone once told me, painting on the whole image really, really helps. And I agree with that. Getting the whole thing the whole way along. Man, mine looks like a really dopey version, doesn't it? It's just kind of cartoony and my proportions are terrible, but I'm trying to focus in on the colors. All right, this color here, very desaturated, so it feels almost blue, even though it's not. And then there's a little rim light at the top too. Get some of those lighter tones in here. A 
notice these eye sockets are kind of square. Notice too, the darkening that goes kind of as the light falls off into the holes, it gets darker and darker going back. So I want to make sure I get that kind of dark in the back, make that kind of match in the nose, man, it is really, really black in there. So let's make sure that that's nice and dark. I'm not worrying too much about little details. I want to give the impression of some of the, the teeth here, but I'm not going to worry about the details. This is a color study. So I just want to make sure that I get these big pieces in first. Also, there's some really bright stuff that's happening up along this edge here and into the, into the head. I need to make sure that I get those details in. Uh, maybe I'm worrying too much about the shape and form because it's a kind of human looking form and it bothers me that I'm so getting the proportions off. But I'm five minutes in, I'm a third of the way done, so I gotta just see how well am I doing with the color itself. Um, I'm gonna need something in the background for contact. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some of these books in here just to get some dark this is kind of framed better on on dark so it goes really dark and these reds underneath just to have some sort of point of contact and put something in there at least and there's some brighter tones and some stuff I won't worry too much about it I'm just trying to paint as quickly as I can I only have 15 minutes for this whole thing so see what I can get. Uh, sit back and blur my eyes. Say, I think there's more orange actually through here. Is that about right? There is a shadow underneath. This actually sticks out. So there is a darker shadow under the eyebrows, kind of under here. There's also these kind of cavities under here. You need to make sure that I get in trying to see all the differences in the tones there's there's a lot of texture in this too so i got to kind of blur my eyes and say am i getting the texture of this right am i getting i mean the the lighting itself and there's a lot of these lighter tones through here there is some dark some of those repeated tones there's warms in here as well there are some, definitely some blacks down in here and under here. And then some lighter tones, smaller little reflective bits through here. Doing this on your paintings will really, really help you speed through this first part. You're going to find all of those key colors before you move on. This to me, uh, this needs to be actually a little more orange, doesn't it? I think that this is actually more like, more like this. If you can get this first focus in the first couple of minutes for all of your paintings, it's just going to make everything so much easier along the way. All right, we've got seven minutes left. We're halfway through and I'm feeling okay about this. Sitting back, blurring my eyes. My proportions are still not great. But that's okay. Anyhow, this is really going to help you with your painting in general. Oh man, that's just, oh, I'm getting too uh, perfectionist here over the shape of the eyes is just going to bothering me. It's going to look cartoony. Suppose this, uh, there is some light kind of more yellowy tones on the top of this. It's picking up some light. Try to use that light to shape all of this. 
There's a term called shaping you might have heard of, and that's really showing the geometry of the surface using light. You know, you can kind of see the, the shapes as the light. You're looking at a two-dimensional image and trying to extract three-dimensional information out of it um, by using light and color. This is the power of sculpting with light. Oh man, this, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put something dark in the back as well, just to help shape this head. So he has a very straight line. He, she, I'm not sure. I don't know how to tell what a skeleton, it's a gender neutral skeleton. Because we don't know. And that's cool. I'm just putting some texture back here just to help frame this out into something a little bit different. Uh, just so it's not all exactly the same. There. Five minutes left. How are we doing? I'm blurring my eyes. I'm going to go and switch over to my mixer brush here and just blend a few things together a little bit just to help get those tones that were in there, kind of just merge them a little, soften those edges, try to get some of that shape that's going into the eye sockets. Let's see, look at all. I can't even tell, even this fast, this is looking all right. I tell you what, it is a vulnerable thing to paint live knowing that it's going to go on YouTube and be like, ah, this is my one chance to paint this and people will watch this and ah, this is not grand, but whatever. I also notice my last few minutes that there's some, it looks like cold light. Um, and that is, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to desaturate that same color and put it in here because there is some cool light coming from the top on kind of this side. So I'm going to just touch in a little bit of that into these areas where I feel some cooler light and that's going to help rim and shape this skeleton a bit. Last couple of minutes, three minutes remaining. I'm going to get in some of these, uh, teeth into through here. Get a little bit of that dark that goes in here and some staining. This is not a real skull. This was a, a friend brought in one as a artist reference skull and it's uh, actually in the office that where I work. And that's pretty cool. All right. Three minutes. Get in some of those little wiggly details. There's a crack along the top, so I'll get a smaller brush and just kind of paint in something along here. Also, there's some really brighter type stuff, so let's just kind of paint in this little highlight a specular highlight off the top of the skull, and then maybe maybe even brighter on this highlight right here. Catch a little bit of that. These little highlights really help the shape to read as these are surfaces. This is a three-dimensional thing displaying in two-dimensional space. Two minutes left. What do I want to focus in on for the last two minutes? You know, mine is, in general, I think I don't have enough oranges in here, so I'm going to just kind of shift this tone, make a bigger brush, and very lightly kind of get some of those warms back into here. I think there's a lot more warm. So I'm just painting ever so lightly to get those colors back in. Step back, blur my eyes, I can take my glasses off if I want and just look at this with the, uh, see if this kind of matches. A lot of texture in here. 
Uh, one minute remaining, and we're just gonna, again, go back to sculpting these eyes, and then we will, the shape of these eyes that I have murdered. Did not get this correct. But hey, it's 15 minutes. And just little highlights in the last remaining seconds. So just kind of hint at some of these little highlights that hit some of these teeth. And I think we will call this, this one done. 15 seconds remaining. Uh, extra little bit of, maybe I'll add a little warm highlight here, like what's under that book. Five, four, three, two. Okay, I'm going to call this done. Uh, all right, there's a 15 minute quick color study of a skull.